These are the big guys. Pittsburgh of Johnstowns, Carlton Hasselrig. And take a look at that record, 41 and one. He'll be opposed by Mike Hatch. These two have wrestled once before with Hasselrig coming out the winner. Hasselrig in the light blue is ranked number two in the country, all divisions. Behind and as Tom you can Erickson. see, as you can see, he's a mobile big guy, and that's a tremendous attribute for a 265 pounder in wrestling. Don't have to rely on strength, you use your speed as well. And there you see Mike Hatch saying, I'm not gonna take any of that from the big guy, and immediately comes after him, driving him out of bounds. And don't be surprised by Mike Hatch and his smaller, squattier size. He's very, very good, very good movement, good wrestling skill. Hatch is a senior, first two years of wrestling in college at Liberty University. He used a lot of upper body. He tried for the quick pins, and his last two years, he said he, he's really gone to becoming a more versatile and a more complete wrestler. Well, you're gonna have to have that. You're gonna have some wrestlers that are gonna come in and attack your legs and not give you anything but attacking legs. And as you just saw, he went in and had a quick little single on Carlton, but was unable to finish. Both wrestlers went out of bounds. And already I see a little bit of a change. Carlton Hasselrig has gone away from his motion. And boom, Mike Hatch back in again on a single leg. We'll see if he can finish it. They're near that out of bounds line and that's trouble. It's very difficult to keep a big man in bounds. Again, you have to get that takedown completely in bounds with your knees in. Your opponent can land out, but your knees have to stay in. Al Carlton Hasselrig, his only loss to a man by the name of Bruce Baumgartner, the 1984 Olympic champion. You know something about Bruce, don't you? Well, Bruce is a fellow <laughs> teammate, and uh, I'll probably run into him in Las Vegas at the Freestyle Nationals next year after, or next month when I start my competing again. Bruce is probably the best heavyweight we've ever had in the United States. Complete wrestler, and this past year he won the Goodwill Games, the World Championships, and the Olympic Games all in that year and a half period. Well, I'm kind of interested, Jeff, uh, as to if you're going to try and and make a comeback for that 88 Summer Olympic team in Seoul, Korea. Well, I've got a lot of wrestling between now and then, and I've just started getting back into good competitive shape, and I start my competing again April 11th, and after my first five tournaments, I'll take a look at where I am and how I feel my shots are at 1988. And believe me, you know, memories linger, and I'm sure that's a definite incentive to continue on. Back to these big guys, and I'll tell you what, Carlton Hasselrig has some good size to him. Gonna have to be looking at him probably next month. Hasselrig, 21 years of age, second in the nation behind Oklahoma State's Tom Erickson. Mike Hatch continuing to go after Hasselrig's legs. He's showing me some good agility in being able to do that. Well, Hatch's problems in the past have primarily centered around his uh, lack of aggressiveness uh, from what he called the inability to really get psyched up for a match. I don't think he has any problems tonight. He seems to be ready. Uh, he's definitely stopped Carlton Hasselrig's motion. Hasselrig before was dancing and he stopped dancing. And because he's built lower to the ground as he is, it's harder for Hasselrig to come into his legs. But there Hasselrig started his dancing again. And once he gets that motion going, that really sets up his attacks. It's very difficult to judge where a big man is going and he gets all that power behind him. As he does, and boom, he's in on a quick double. That'll score. There's a takedown. He's got to be careful about his back. I don't know if he realizes it. Oh, there's two near fall. As you hear, Pete George give the two points to Carlton Hasselrig, who now takes a four nothing lead. Two points for the takedown and two points for the near fall. I would think in the heavyweight division, 190 the heavyweight division, Jeff, that it would be very difficult to turn a guy on the mat because of the sheer bulk. Do you normally find the heavyweights will let an opponent up after he gets the points? I don't think you see too many takedown artists in the heavyweight. There are some mismatches where, you know, that will occur. But for the most part, I used to enjoy turning people on the mat. I thrived on it. There you see it. Hassel getting that motion, getting Hatch coming into him, comes in on the double, knocks him down. Here Mike Hatch is trying to hang on. I don't know if he realized the takedown was already given. And right here, Hassel tilts Mike Hatch for the two-point near fall. And right there, you can see him. Both blades almost look flat. 
Asa rig out to a 4 0 lead as we are underway now in period number two. And I wonder now if Mike Hatch's, Mike Hatch's conditioning will keep him in this match. Hasselrig is a big guy at 265 pounds, and he's just, ooh, he almost ripped Mike Hatch over to his back using that uh, near wrist. And here now he's got a bar arm hooked up, and we saw this bar arm used earlier. The bar, for those of you on the watching, a bar arm is when the top wrestler slips his arm underneath the defensive wrestler's arm and then runs it to the head. Out of bounds they go with a minute 18 seconds remaining. Hasselrig enjoying a 4-0 lead. He also has a minute 8 riding time. Hasselrig, the 1986 20 and under freestyle national champion. This year already the Olympic Festival champion. I believe Hasselrig can turn Mike Hatch. He's had him in two very, very good holds, which could be pitting combinations. But both times he seemed to uh, relax a little bit and let Mike Hatch up. Right there is one, and oh, he just can't quite get the turn. Boy, Hasselrig, tremendously active for a heavyweight. That's good Listen. stuff. Tries to send and him that, down. And that is Carlton Hasselrig's best move. Let his opponent stand up, and then he pops into him. The opponent moves away from him and he drops him back down on his back. And here you see a near fall for Hasselrig. Can he put the blade down? Oh, this is going to be close. I think Hasselrig's going to get it. He's got that there it tight. Is. And there's your winner, Carlton Hasselrig, with a fall over Mike Hatch at three minutes and 29 seconds of the second period. Looking at that pinning combination again here, he lifts his opponent, pops him away from him, and drops him down to his back. And here it's just a slow cinch to death. Slowly tighten the grip, cinch it tighter and tighter until finally both blades are down. Carl 